Swole Benji here. Today I wanted to talk to you about repairing items, weapons, trade skill items, anything in the game that needs to be repairing. I'm going to talk to you right now about it. So here is a set of armor that is completely broken. So for those that don't know, broken items in this game, you do not get the stats. You will get the base armor or the base, you know, damage. If it's a weapon, it will still continue to function. However, you won't get the stats, you won't get the sockets. Like, for instance, this Ring of the Ranger, I will not get plus 11 dexterity or the Lightning Ward 2 effect if I wear it while it is broken. You can repair things very simple, simply by you hover over it and you hold R and then you press left click. And what that's going to use is a slight bit amount of coin, which in this case... 3.75 coin, I have 2,800. I can kill a few mobs and they will drop this amount of coins, so that's nothing. And then three repair parts. So here's repair parts. I have 720 and I can hold a max of 2,000. Repair parts cannot be traded, sold, etc. Uh, but to get a repair part, all you have to do is salvage items that you no longer need. So salvaging an item means that you just break it down so i've got a bunch of chests here and uh the reason i haven't opened these chests is look at their weight each of these chests weighs half a pound okay now i'm just going to okay so that's a that's an auction that sold i'm going to open this armor case level 27 okay and the armor inside is a blue musketeer's boots of the brigand cool right but these boots weigh 1.5 pounds okay so you'll notice that the storage shed here, I have 1,299.7 storage out of 1,725. This far exceeds what most players have, especially this early on in the beta. Now let me tell you how I got storage space, which this isn't really about storage space, but I need to tell you anyway. So I am level 44 in Everfall, and you get to choose, every level you get to choose a little perk, and I have chosen storage every single time but also, I own a house in this town, and that house has two storage chests, which increase the overall storage I'm allowed to have. So, by keeping your item case chests, you can stockpile just random gear to, to break down. So I'm just going to salvage this. It's going to give me two repair parts and 50 cents. Oh boy. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to open all of these. I'm just going to rapid fire, spam through them. Uh, and we can we can look at all the stuff later. I'm going to tell you right now, none of it's really going to be anything I'm super hyped for. But we got all greens. Not even a single blue. The first one was a blue. And then none of them were a blue. So you can see that these, you know, they're decent items. They're not bad. Like, ooh, that's a terrible bow, though. Um, you know, everything here, it's okay. I can buy better on the market. I have no use for any of this stuff. Not even, not even that one. Um, why do I have a medium glove equipped? I didn't, I didn't realize I was wearing medium. Oh yeah, that's right because uh, I'm still lightweight. Anyway, uh, I don't need of the monk. I need of the scholar for this build. So I'm just gonna salvage all of it. My repair parts are 722. And after the salvaging of all these chests. I am now at 762. And you don't have to wait till something is broken, like uh, this skinning knife down here. It's barely dented. I can hold R, press left click, two coins and one repair part. If it's broken, it's going to be 10 repair parts, okay? These blue ones are almost 20 repair parts, I believe. They're pretty darn expensive. All right. So that's the basics on how to repair and how to get repair parts but there's an even better way of getting repair parts let, let me just open three more of these things all right uh defiled helm i've never seen that one uh no stats though so yeah these are just you know low low b items whatever but that's fine my build is pure stat based like this is a level 10 boot this is a level 6 pants it's more than enough upgrading my armor to a level 40 version of light pants is not going to give me much survivability. Someone's talking right now, so... Alright, so the other way to get repair parts is you could go to the market, and you just go... I like to just go to apparel, and then you sort by price. So this is a six... This is six coins. 
I'm gonna buy it. I'm just gonna buy it right now for six coins. Cool, cool. And then I'm just gonna salvage it. It's gonna give me the Malachite back and two repair parts. So, um, well, it gave me one Malachite. So now I can go to the market and type, or I'm gonna go to sell. And then I'm just gonna, I have it sorted by name, I believe. I'm gonna go to F and go to flawed Malachite. There's flawed Amber. Flawed Malachite. I'm gonna place a sell order. And if I wanted to, remember, I, I I paid six coins for this or something, right? I can sell this for twenty one fifty. I make twenty. I just made a profit on on breaking that item down, okay? And I got repair parts for it, so that's another way. It's a little tedious, but there's there's a faster way, you know. There's always a better way, right? And this is probably the best way. Is it, it does require that you go out into the world and get a bunch of fiber and get a bunch of materials. But once you, you know, that's a normal thing that players do. You, you, you come here, you refine the materials, you have a bunch setting, and you go to this little armor bench, little armor station, right? I've got plenty of coarse leather, plenty of iron ingots, and plenty of linen. Okay, I can make, well, right now I can only make seven boots because I'm a little low on, on the leather. But leather, I, I can get, I can get, hun, I can get a thousand leather in under 20 minutes. I can get 500 metal in under 20 minutes, I can get a couple thousand linens in half an hour, okay? So, when I can sit here and craft 700 of these little boots, right? So I'm just gonna craft seven of them, I'm, I don't care, it's beta. And look, some of these are even coming up, you know, special, right? There's really no quick way to skip through this other than the spam click. I, I wish there was. Now, once I've crafted everything, right, um, I can just go to salvage and I get some of the linen back and a repair part. So, but there's, an, you know, you just go to the menu, it's the same salvage, so hold S, left click, press E, and there we go. So now, we got even more repair parts, and that was really quick. It does burn resources, but the, the, the bonus and the reason you do it this way is because this levels your armor crafting, okay? I don't know if I leveled up doing this because I just crafted the first thing on the list, but... Uh, that is how you can quickly and very efficiently farm for repair parts. But by just playing the game, you find plenty, plenty of gear that, you know, you can salvage. And all of it's junk. And there's someone talking again. But yeah, you can, like, I can go in here and just clean out all these old weapons. Like, I'm not gonna ever really use that or this, you know, like, if I wanted... Uh, and she is wearing underwear, YouTube. Uh, it's a little, it's a little lewd, so let's pan the camera away. Sorry, boys, you can rewind the video. Anyway, uh, like, here's some armors that I'm probably never going to wear, like, minor pants. Uh, I mean, the beta ends soon. I've got all these old jewelries and stuff. Y you get the point, right? Like, I could craft all of these jewels into jewelry and then, and then salvage it and get repair parts. Repair parts are... Like, they're, they're a no-brainer. It's the simplest thing ever. You're never going to run out of these. Sure, maybe at level 60 and when stuff breaks, the, these things will cost hundreds. Maybe that's the case. There is a, a, a better way to repair higher expensive tier equipment, and that is crafting repair kits, which is a topic for another video, and that's more for an in-game thing for in-game armor. Your, your gear is going to be so replaced. Like, look at me. I'm wearing level 6 pants, and I'm level 42. These pants give me plus 8 intelligence. That's more damage than any other pants is going to give. I'm a lightweight class. I don't need armor. I don't need defenses. I just use immunity rolls and deal maximum damage, okay? If you're a tank, the base armor alone is more than enough to make you take one-fifth the damage that I would in light armor, okay? Like, your gear, it's an extension of your character, but it's not a deal breaker. It's not like... If you're in World of Warcraft and you have, you know, you're level 50 using level 20 swords that you're just screwed. That's not the case at all in this game. In this game, you can use broken equipment and you get the base stats on it. So it, if my gun was broken right now and I wouldn't shot a zombie, which, uh, well, I don't know if I can get to one really quick. But, like, I would still do enough damage to kill it, okay? What is that? Is that a turkey? Yeah, it's a turkey. Uh... It looks, well, these guys are clearing everything, it seems. So we'll just shoot the turkey. So I, I do 488 physical damage and then tack on that, that elemental damage. With this gun broken, I wouldn't do the elemental damage, but I would still do that same amount of physical damage. 
And so that's why, like, repairing is not a big deal as you progress through the game. It might be a big deal at the end of the game. I don't know. I'm not there yet. But that's that's how repairing works in New World, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Soul Benji. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and a comment. You got to do both. If you do both, it is an algorithm combo. It is a YouTube cheat code, all right? Also... 72% of you aren't subscribed, so I need you to hit that subscribe button right now. I know my video shows up in your feed because you watch New World content. It's completely free. Just hit subscribe. It really helps out. Uh, you can always unsubscribe later. I do. I really appreciate the support that you guys give me. As always, you know, I'll see you in the next video, okay? I, I upload a video every single day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, lads.